So one thing I was going to mention of why I put G out, oh, I declared G out here. Well, if I don't declare it out here and I just say graphics G, then down here, it doesn't know what G is because the graphics object was uh, created inside this block. So when we're not inside this block, G uh, doesn't exist. And one of the ways to fix that is declare G, instead of declare it here on line 24, we could declare G up here. And then if you notice, what block is G in? G is in this block here, which goes from line 14 all the way through uh, line 44. So G will exist through this whole uh, setup or through all this code here. Uh, you will have a problem that if you, if you try to draw before G, G gets this value here on line 24. That was one of the first things I did. If I drop this down here, I'll try to draw before the graphics panel exists. I have an exception called null pointer exception. And now, of course, you know what that is, which means you tried to, see, we can shrink this down, you try to access uh, an object that didn't exist. It was on line 41 right here. So we did G dot, and that was our problem. Because a graphics panel, it was declared, but we called the draw method before we actually created the graphics panel. Uh, so this line of code right here creates the graphics panel and then, uh, or creates the graphics drawing object and then sets it equal to G. And of course we put this up above, panel doesn't exist, so the order is super important. All right, so now you know why I put graphics object G at the top. Uh, the other way to accomplish that, you could just pass it, graphics object G around like that, but then every single method is gonna have that graphics object hanging out in there. I did not want to do that. 